Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike O'Brien and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a website in just 10 minutes. Now, I'm not doing any kind of advanced coding here. The skill level required to do this is very low, so it really is easy. And in 10 minutes, you'll go from having absolutely no website to having a ready to go professional website that you can just put out there and start with your business or your fundraiser or your you know wedding, whatever you're trying to do. This is a really easy way to make a real professional website in almost no time at all. Now, to prove that you can do this in 10 minutes, starting in like a couple seconds, I'll have a timer right up there for 10 minutes. This will be a 10 minute video after this intro is over and we'll have a website at the end. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go down below this video and click on the Start Your Wix site here link. That link will bring you over to a new tab where it'll look something like this, some kind of strange colorful picture with a big blue button in the middle. So you want to click on that blue button and it'll prompt you to, if you haven't already, sign in to Wix. You're going to log in. And so I'm just going to continue with Google and it will bring me right into what we're looking for. Now the page should look something like this if you don't already have a site. So let's go and create a new site. Again, opens a new tab right here. As you can see, you have lots of different options. If you want to start something for like a fundraiser or whatever you're looking for, lots of options there. I chose a business because we are going to create the example of Mike's Comedy Barbershop. Now I used that in a previous video, so we're just going to continue along with this concept and we're going to, I showed you a video about how to make some in-depth websites here. I'll link that down below. But for a 10 minute website, we're going to use the Wix ADI creator and say start now. And it'll start prompting us and walking us through some basic questions to really help develop a proper website. So what type of website do you have? Here's where you want to uh, type in anything that is you know related to your website or your, your business. So as a barbershop, I can find barbershop. But there are really specific things, so you want to choose the right one. If I'm a barber school, a barber supply store, online barber supply store, like lots of different options. So choose one that is very specific and very accurate for your for your actual business or whatever you're trying to do, actually. So it will be as accurate as possible when it makes the final website. Next, it brings us to this page here where we can choose essentially what we want on the website. So these are kind of different little tabs or features that you can add in. Um, and so let's say if it's a comedy barbershop, maybe we want some funny videos. If maybe we want to have uh, an online store, maybe, maybe not. I'm going to say no online store on this one. So all of this is very easy to configure and I'll show you that in a couple minutes once you have the website up. But essentially, let's just say that's all I really want um, for this website right now. So what we do is we say next and then we give the website a name or the business a name really. This is not your domain. This is just the name of your business. So Mike's Comedy Barbershop. Mike's Comedy Barbershop right there and we're going to say next. Then it, pop, it prompts you with what kind of images or text it can import. And so if you have Google My Business, if you have a Google Places right there, so if you're on Google Maps, put that right there. That's a great way. If you don't already have that, I recommend you get that for your business. It makes it easier for people to find you on Google. Also here, it's going to be pulling images from that to help with your website. And then above right here, you might be wondering why would, you know, if I have a website, I wouldn't be making one, right? But what I recommend is I usually just put in like a Facebook business page right there. And usually this works. Sometimes I run into problems where it doesn't interface with Facebook very nicely. Um, but we're just going to say next and it should import some pictures from that. Now it's going to prompt us to add some more information here. So we're going to add a logo. Um, now you want to make sure you choose a good logo that actually looks good. So it, you know, don't, if you have a couple different logos, choose your best one because it will be pulling the colors from this logo on the next page. So add your address, add your phone number. Please don't add a fax number. Nobody's going to fax you. Add some social links. So here, if you have an Instagram, a Twitter, whatever, add those links. I'm adding a Facebook business page. That's all I have for this business right now. But again, add other stuff as you see fit. And it's going to load and bring us to the option of what kind of text we want. So, uh, you know, as a barbershop, I think maybe uh, maybe midnight looks the best for, for this barbershop. I don't know. You can choose any one of these. It doesn't make a huge difference. But for me, I'm just going to choose that one. Then it will be using this logo, like I said, to create the color palette. So let's create the palette right there uh, and it's going to pop up. Unfortunately, this is kind of an ugly logo, just lots of browns. So, you know, no, no real pop colors there, but whatever, we you know, we're going to use these colors anyway. So this is what our website will look like. We're going to have these colors and the next page should prompt us for essentially what we want the site to really look like. So choosing a homepage design, unfortunately, they only give you three options. If you don't like any of these three, 
I recommend you go back to the beginning and change what you want on the website. So add online store maybe, and this will look entirely different. I've done this exact same exercise multiple times and changed a few variables, and these come out almost entirely different every single time. So right here, we have three options. Then if you hover over it, you can kind of scroll down and see what it's going to look like. And out of these three, let's say, maybe I really like that one. I don't really like the color of that text though. Um, you know, let's just go with this one then. Let's go with this one. This one seems like the least effort and it looks pretty good, right? And we can customize any of this later on. It's really easy to change with Wix and I'll show you that. But part of the 10 minutes, unfortunately, is waiting for Wix to optimize the site. And one great thing is it also makes it on a mobile site. So you have a desktop and a mobile site, both within 10 minutes. That's a pretty good deal, honestly. So it'll open it up then and you'll see that you have kind of this block design that's a really standard design on a lot of websites. So you see it highlights the block in blue and you can click on any one of these blocks. This is a little bit laggy right now um, because I'm recording my screen. But so if we just click on one of these blocks, so like the first one, for example, it'll give us the option to really customize it and say, all right, we have a title and maybe so we're not in San Francisco. Let's say funniest barbershop in Philly. Right, so maybe that's what we want. You can add a description, you can edit or replace the image right there. And so the image right there, if you go and edit and replace, you'll find in your library, the imported images that you got from your other website, your you know Google My Business or your Facebook page or whatever you want, or you know whatever you imported before, you can choose to replace that image with one of those, or you can just have any image you want, right? So going down, you have other options. Let's go down and change. This is like the different haircuts you can get possibly. So maybe like a classic haircut's $20, but let's say, you know what? No, I, if I'm a comedy barber shop, classic haircut, no way, man, I'm charging more than that. So let's just say the price is like $30, right? Then you can add a description and you can add a different image right there. So again, if you're a barbershop, this seems like a really good layout. I think Wix did a great job of choosing what this should look like. They found different haircuts basically and they have you know some different titles right there, different prices, really easy to do that. Then going down, this is essentially going to be your Instagram feed. So I requested having an Instagram feed on this website and that's what they have right there. So you can connect your Instagram, going down, you can change your hours, you can change just like some picture right there. If you have a video channel, so YouTube channel or something, the contact me stuff, a map. So that's essentially what your website will be looking like. It's a pretty simple, um, so yeah, save the website. So pretty simple, just one page site right here and it does everything I really need it to do. Okay, so when we're editing this, you have a couple options as well between the blocks. So if you want your Instagram feed to be a little bit lower, maybe you want whatever's below it to be somewhere higher, right? So if we want that slideshow to be above the Instagram feed, what you can do is click the little up and down arrows when you hover over the blocks. If you want a new one in between there, you can also click the little plus right there and they ask you what you want the section to be. There's lots of options. You can have like a subscribe one, you can have my products, you can have you know news and updates, so many different options, and then you can choose what the block should actually look like. So you say, yeah, you know, my products, I want it to be like that. Let's, you know, you can click and drag that in, or you can just double click that and it'll show up where you want it to right there. And so it's just a cool way to kind of expand your website. It's still gonna be a single page website here, but it gives you more options. From the top, you can actually go to manage apps and adjust your bookings or your video. You also can change your themes, your color, your fonts. You can add different things, sections to the page, which I also showed you with the plus sign right there. Um, you can go and view the mobile mode. So let's do that right now, go to mobile. So the next thing you wanna do is go up to the top and go to from desktop to mobile. As you see right here, I have mobile and you can go down and it shows you basically everything here, but you might say like, whoa, we don't want text in the middle of his face, right? So you can go and edit these, move the text around as you need to and just kind of arrange everything within the mobile mode uh, just to make sure that everything, like I said, everything looks good. You don't have text on someone's face. Um, maybe if you don't want a certain you know, block, you'd say like maybe get rid of this one. Um, and so all the options are there. If you're interested in knowing more about how to really customize your site, I made a separate video. But overall, guys, that's basically everything you need to know to make your first website in just 10 minutes. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do from this page right here is go up to upgrade because we do wanna connect the domain to this. So we have to go and upgrade this and we're going to upgrade it to, they have a couple different plans. We're gonna select the pro plan, or that's what I always do at least. I usually choose three years. You have different options, of course, but I always just plan for my business to be successful. I choose the pro one for a couple of reasons, um, mainly because I want all of this stuff right here. I don't wanna be compromised, but if you want a cheaper one, absolutely go for it. I don't care which one you choose. That's entirely up to you. 
Okay, so now the last thing we want to do now that we upgraded is we go over to publish and in publish, it'll say you need a domain. So you can either have your little free domain right here, which like I said, is going to look pretty bad. So if you want to get a domain, you click connect domain right there and it'll bring you to a page kind of like this one once you already upgraded and then you can choose what your domain might be. So we're going to say Mike's Comedy Barbershop. Okay, and then we're going to say search. It'll say it's available. We're going to say get it and then we're going to work through all of this stuff so you can choose on how how long you want to get it for and then you just hit continue and just like that it will be connected it's very easy to do i won't do that because i don't actually care about this website so guys that is the end of this video now you can just go over and check out your website once you publish it and you can scroll down and you'll see that we have a nice slideshow right there of some different things we have our little facebook option right there it's relatively blank up here so i recommend adding some more color to that you scroll down, you see that each one of these has like a you know, classic haircut. They tell you what it is. You have an Instagram feed that I obviously didn't connect right here, but you can see that people can hover over it and see a little bit more about what your Instagram was. Um, your hours, another slideshow down here. You can see a video channel, which I didn't actually connect. So obviously you have to populate all the information on here, but for making a 10 minute website, this is really, really good. If you're trying to make a website for like a Maybe if you're making a fundraiser or a wedding, you're trying to organize some stuff, or if you're looking for literally just anything, if you want a quick website, this is a great way to set it up like you saw in just 10 minutes. So if you have more questions about this, I recommend you actually check out my full video, which shows you it's about 45 minutes long and shows you everything you could possibly want to know to get started with the website. So if this is not enough, and if you have questions about how to change different parts of the website or really optimize things, maybe do a little SEO, Check that video out. I hope it helps you. I hope this helped you as well. As always, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.